guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here with me today because we are talking christmas eve boxes and stocking stuffers so if you need some last minute ideas hopefully this will help you a little bit and if not if you're already completely ready you can just join me to look through what i got for the kids because sometimes i forget what i even got after a while but i'm so excited i always do a christmas eve box for them so i got these boxes at tj maxx a couple years ago but i was in there the other day and i saw one just like this so they must have them pretty often but basically i use the reusable boxes and i go ahead and i put their christmas eve stuff in it every year so i normally do pjs a blanket and maybe something else to go with it so i mean you could do a christmas movie hot cocoa whatever you want to do but it's super fun and it's something for them to open up before they go to bed on christmas eve so i'm going to share with you guys and then i'll show you some ideas that Santa had for stockings this year and I'm also doing pet stockings. So we've got our two dogs and two indoor cats. We also have an outdoor cat. So I got stuff for all of them for their stockings. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, so if I look disheveled at all, <laughs> um, I have been wrapping presents all morning, but I got all of my wrapping done except for one gift, I think. So I'm so proud of myself this year. I've got a little less than a week till Christmas and I got so much done, made myself get it done. So if you haven't watched my wrap with me video yet that I did, definitely check that out. I did a couple of those, so, I don't know, it just helped me get a lot done. And then of course I did some wrapping off camera for Chloe. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna look at the Christmas Eve boxes. I'm gonna show you guys Axel's first and then we'll look at Chloe's. So Axel is six years old. He is actually gonna be seven on January the 11th. So coming up very soon. But let's go ahead and see what's in his box this year. So the first thing in his box is this adorable glow bright dinosaur so it actually glows and it is super super soft i got this on sale at target one day and there's the tag for it so you can see the brand and everything oh my gosh so cute so soft i think he's gonna love this he doesn't have one like this and it was hard to choose between the t-rex and the triceratops but this is what i went with the next thing i got for him is these little um dinosaur flippers i got these at tj maxx for just 4.99 and they're like that sherpa material inside now most of his box is dino but this next item if you watched my what we got axel for christmas video um then you know that he's really into cowboy stuff and all of that he's getting some cowboy boots for christmas but for the pjs i found these super cute ones on amazon and they are cowboy pajamas so we've got the little cowboy and the horse and the rope. He's got his little lasso, whatever. Um, and then this is the top. So I thought that was so cute and he can wear them, not just on Christmas, but anytime. And then the last thing I put in Axel's Christmas Eve box is a dinosaur cover because he said he wanted a new dino blanket. So there's that. <laughs> I think I got it at Walmart. It was super cheap. So I definitely think that he will love it. Super simple, but something super fun for Christmas Eve. So next we've got Chloe's box. So Chloe is 13 years old and she loves pastel colors, things like that. She turned 13 in August. So this is the box that I use for her each year. And let me show you what I got for her. So first we have some slippers. Now I will say I was trying my best to match the color of the slippers to the color of the pajamas that I got for her. But I bought these on or at Walgreens and I used some of my Walgreens cash over there to pay for those. Um, and then I got these PJs off of Amazon. Now I will say they're not a perfect match on color, but what do you guys think? I mean, I think it matches up pretty well. And I mean, you gotta think this is shorts and a long sleeve shirt and then 
the slippers are all the way down here. I don't think anybody will know if they don't match perfectly. Um, so there's those things for her. Um, another thing that I put in here for her is a blanket. I got this a while back on a deal on Amazon. It is just a white, really soft blanket. Super, super soft. She loves soft blankets. Can't get enough of those. So I always try to get her a nice new one. Then I could not resist this. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. And so she loves like the gingerbread man on Shrek. And they had a little gift set and it had this little globe. I'm going to show you guys. Plus it had a mug. So the mug, I think I'm going to sit out with some of her Christmas presents on Christmas. But <laughs> they got the little globe and it says, not my gumdrop buttons. <laughs> like how funny is that oh my gosh that cracked me up I was like I have to get that so I put that in there for her and then she'll get the mug on Christmas morning I will say I normally do put um like hot chocolate or something in their Christmas Eve boxes but I didn't put those in here this year but we do have hot cocoa here at the house so if they want to do something like that and watch a movie they can but I think the very first year I ever did Christmas Eve boxes for them I did like PJ's blankets um, hot cocoa and a Christmas movie now for her stuffed animal because yes I did get her a stuffed animal and she still likes stuffed animals um, she saw this one at tractor supply and she was like I want that and I just thought it was so funny so I went back and got it and look at it it's so cute let me see the brand is Myoni by Aurora I think that is how you say that but look how cute that is oh my gosh and it is soft and everything so I think that she'll be surprised and I think that she'll like that <laughs> so super fun now let's get into what they are getting in their stockings. I'm gonna show you the stuff for Chloe and Axel's stockings. Now, keep in mind, a few of the things will be the same, but I tried to switch it up a little bit this year and do something a little different. So, the first thing in Axel's stocking <laughs> is the big dum-dums. So, I think that it's just regular size inside here, but it just looks so cool in this big thing. And I got this a while back from Cracker Barrel. So, if you want some kind of unique stocking stuffers that maybe some of you don't find at Walmart or something, they have a lot of cute ones over there. So, got that. Next, very simple, some cotton candy. Next up, I got this Crazy Aaron's Hide um, hide Inside Mixed Emotions. So this is Thinking Putty, and I think I put this in their stocking last year as well. You guys may remember, but um, for the Thinking Putty, I actually got this at Walgreens on clearance. Now, last year I got it off Amazon, so it cost me a little more, but they liked it, so I got this for him, and you have to find all the little emotions in there, and it does take a little while to find them. You have your little checklist of which ones you need to find. Next, we have mini brands. So if your kids like mini brands, they are like all these like little mini versions of food and drinks and other different things. So super fun. The kids love those. They collect them a little bit. Now next in Axel's, let's see here. I don't have these mixed up. Yeah, I think I mixed those up. Hold on. Ah, gotta switch over to the other side of the bag. Messing it all up, you guys. <laughs> okay, so next up in Axel's, I got one of these boxes. Now, this is not going to fit in his stocking. Let's be honest. The stockings aren't that huge. I showed you guys <laughs> um, up on the screen the stockings. Anyways, but normally anything that doesn't fit in the stocking, I will either put in their little Santa bag that sits out um on christmas morning or like sit it around a couple presents that we got them on christmas morning so we've got these chocolates because now my kids are obsessed with these chocolates after i got a deal on them one day and they were really good and now they're like oh my god i love those but i got these at 50 percent off at walgreens so there's that <laughs> um next uh we have some simple candy stuff we've got nerd rope did I already show you Nerd Rope? No, I didn't. Nerd Rope! Um, Reese Pieces and the Bunch of Crunch. Little Nestle Crunch stuff. There's those. 
Sometimes I feel like I do a little too much candy in the stockings, but I do switch it up and put a few other things in there. So let me know, do you normally do mostly candy or do you do other stuff? Now the other thing I got for his is a little dinosaur motorcycle. So I found that at a little store when we were in Nashville and I just picked it up. I think I got it like Rainforest Cafe or something, but just fun for him. Next, this one, some people will think it's weird, but <laughs> I thought it was funny and I know that the kids are going to like it. I'm even putting some in my husband's stocking because they love this kind of stuff. You know, they will be out there throwing these things. So it is exploding reindeer poop, but it is actually like those little um, noisemaker things. It's not like a firework or anything, but I will say they ID'd me at Walmart self-checkout to buy these. So <laughs> they were only like $2, I think, but I guess because the potential of you know, whatever. Anyways, it's these tiny little things and they, when you throw them on the ground, they make a popping sound, but that's about it. Snappers is what it's called, I think. Anyways, <laughs> so got those. Um, the next thing I got for him is this little Hershey Kiss. I got this over at Walgreens. I thought it was super cute. And it's the Grinch. And Axel loves chocolate. So I thought that's a good one for him. Then next, over at Cracker Barrel, I got the Popping Candies. They're kind of like the... Uh, what do you call them? The Pop Rocks or whatever they're called. Anyways, so there's two different ones. They had cotton candy and watermelon. So they make that popping sound in your mouth and it feels all weird. Got those. Something a little fun. Now Axel, he is six years old, almost seven, like I told you guys. And he has never tried gum before. And I, I don't know, I just never have given him gum before. So I figured, well, I might let him try it because, you know, in case he wants to chew it sometimes, he knows not to swallow it and all that. So anyways, I got him the Big League Chew Bubble Gum. And this one, it was also over at Cracker Barrel, but I'm pretty sure they have this at Walmart and other stores. But I thought he can just try out like a little bit of it at a time and see if he likes it and all that. So there's that. The next thing I got for him, and I think this actually, oh no, there's two more things. Okay. So I got these little things. They were on clearance at Cracker Barrel. And I think it's kind of like one of those fidget toys. So it is Tangle Fuzzies. It's a Cracker Barrel exclusive apparently, but it looks like you can like move it all around and like twist it and all of that. So I don't know. I thought they may like it. it kind of reminds me of, like those Neato balls and the other little fidget toys that kids get really into. So maybe he will like that. Let me grab, I think, his last thing out here. Let me see. Oh, no. This is it. Okay. So I also got this at Cracker Barrel and I saw these and I just thought it was something kind of fun and different. Maybe a weird stocking stuffer. I don't know. But they had all these like old style kind of drinks for like $1.99, I think. Maybe it was less than that. And so this one, it says it's cream soda and it's made with sugar. I don't think it's like, like a Coke or something like that that I know of. Um, because Axel, he's, I let him drink Sprite, but, um, nothing that's like caffeinated. So anyways, um, so this is cream soda, but it has a little cowboy on it. So I thought, well, that's kind of fun. Something kind of different. So got that one for him because I saw this other one that I thought Chloe would like. So let me show you what we got for Chloe's stocking. Okay, so for Chloe's, we're going to start off with the drink since we just ended with the drink on Axel's. So for her, I got her this cotton candy soda pop because she loves cotton candy. And I thought, well, why not try it out? <laughs> so hopefully these don't taste disgusting. Let me know if you've tried those. I've never tried either of those, I don't think. So I don't know. Anyways, we got a couple of repeats on the stocking stuffers. Of course, we've got cotton candy. We've also got the Dum Dums there. We've also got her a big thing of chocolate because she is loving these things. So I had to get those. Now, I also got her the Thinking Putty. 
And I also got her the exploding reindeer poop. Now, <laughs> she may not get as big of a kick out of these as my husband and Axel, but I thought, hey, why not give her some too? So anyways, there's those things. And then she also got mini brand, same as Axel. So like I said, a lot of things the same, but I tried to switch it up, make it a little different for them. So next for her, instead of the gum, like the big league gum, like I got for Axel, I got her the Razzles. Do you guys, do you remember that movie 13 going on 30 and they're like kind of going back to their childhood type thing and um, she's like, oh my God, you got Razzles and they're like, first a candy, then a gum. So anyways, <laughs> I, that's what Razzles make me think of is 13 going on 30. Um, it was Mark Ruffalo and Jennifer Garner. Anyways, such a cute movie. And yeah, I got those for Chloe. So that may be something different. Now these right here are like one of her favorite candies. So I got a couple of these. Um, the Airhead Extremes, the Rainbow Kind. There's those. Next, I saw this. I thought it was hilarious in Cracker Barrel. Okay, if you watched my video around Halloween time, I posted that Chloe was going to be an inflatable rubber chicken. Like, not just an inflatable chicken, an inflatable rubber chicken. She was running around the yard. I did a little slow-mo video. Like, we were cracking up. It was so funny. So, anyways, I saw this pin at Cracker Barrel, and then it made me laugh, and I had to get it for her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, did I pay $3.99 for a rubber chicken pin? Yes, I did. But she'll get a kick out of it. I don't know if I should have got Axel one too, but I don't know. I, I got her that one. So anyways, then I also got her the little tangle fuzzies from Cracker Barrel. Little fidget thing. Also got her the little popping candies. These ones are called Aftershocks, but same flavors, watermelon and cotton candy. Then I got her also a Nerd Rope, and I got her a Push Pop. So where I got Axel the Hershey Kiss, I got her the Push Pop because I know she likes these. She likes blue raspberry flavored stuff, and she's more like fruity candy. Like me and Axel are more like chocolate, and then my husband and Chloe are more fruity candies. So, um, that's why I tried to get her some more fruity stuff, but she does love those one chocolates. Now, next, she's getting some of these Kiss and Press nails in her stocking. We've got these super cute ones with butterflies on them, and then these that are kind of like the matte look, but then they have these sparkles down here. Yeah. So that is Chloe's stocking. Now, I'm gonna put all this up and show you what I'm putting in my dogs and cat stockings too, because fur babies need stockings as well. Let me show you what I picked up for them. Okay, so for our dogs and cats, we have our two dogs, Reba and Aurora. We're gonna look at what we're putting in their stockings and then we'll do with the cats. So the very first thing that's going in Aurora's stocking is this little Santa. This was from Walmart and she has some pigs that she absolutely loves. They make this sound. So when I saw this and I saw it made the same sound, <laughs> I have to get that for her. She's gonna love it. She'll probably hear it from downstairs and come running up here wondering what I'm hiding. So anyway, <laughs> there's that for her. Now, um, their stockings aren't completely even, you guys, but I think they'll be happy with them. So, uh, next, for Aurora and for Reba, I got them each two packs of these little cookies. So, it is the Three Dog Bakery, and one is the Golden and Vanilla, and then the other one is Karab. I don't know, carob, I don't know, and peanut butter flavor. So anyways, our dog Reba loves treats. She's older, so she doesn't get into the toys as much. So she will occasionally tug on a toy with Aurora, but mostly she's here for the treats, okay? So um, that's why I got mostly treats like that. So there's those. Um, the last thing I got for the dogs, I believe, is pig ears. They both like these and I got these at Tractor Supply, but you can get them at Walmart and stuff too. It's just something that they can kind of chew on for a little while. So 
Sorry, piggy. <laughs> but there's those for the dogs. Now we're moving on to the cats. Now for our cats, let me show you. So we have our outdoor cat, Ozzy, and then this is his very first Christmas with us. And then our two cats that are inside, Apollo and Ace. This is also their first Christmas with us because we adopted them last Christmas, or not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. So we adopted them on New Year's Eve. So they've never been with us for Christmas. We made them stockings this year. I'll show you guys all the stockings at the end of the video. But um, yeah, we made stockings and all that good stuff. And Ozzy, we actually, we've only had him for about three months. He just started coming around. So we feed him, take care of him and yeah. I love him. <laughs> Anyways, so I got these little pom-pom balls and these were like 98 cents at Walmart. Anyways, got one for each of them. Ozzy is just getting around to the idea of playing with toys. Apollo and Ace play with toys all the time in the house. But Ozzy, he hasn't really had that kind of interaction with people before. So he's enjoying it. We've been playing with him with a few things. Now for Ace and Apollo, since they are inside, I got each of them an additional toy. So these are also from Walmart and they were like 98 cents, I think. So there's those. Then also for all three of them, I got these. They are the Fancy Feast Savory Cravings and they're like these little break apart treats and they're all tuna flavor. So I got one of each of those for them. Then for these, I'm gonna put one in Ace's stocking and one in Apollo's stocking, but really I'll share them between all of them because Ozzy also likes these kind of treats. And, but we still have some, like I didn't need to buy a lot cause we still have some in my little cat treat container. So um, I got this one to put in Ace's stocking cause he loves food. This is the Rockin' Lobster flavor of the Temptations cat treats. And then I got this creamy dairy flavor for Apollo because, you know, cats aren't supposed to have dairy, but I guess it gives like the illusion. And every time I eat a bowl of cereal, Apollo tries to come up and as soon as I'm done, he tries to get the milk. I'm like, no, you can't have that. So anyways, crazy cat lady here. That's what I got my pets for Christmas as well. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video, if it gave you any ideas for your pets or your kids or anybody else special in your life that you may be making a Christmas stocking for or a Christmas Eve box. I appreciate you guys so much. Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.